Okay, so this is the original site. As you can see, it's set up. I've just put a template from Optimize Press on this main page, and I have created some other pages as well. But I'm not going to go into that. Um, this is about WordPress Engine, not Optimize Press. So basically, um, the only thing that we need to get or change is this is the domain that you get when you set up uh, at WordPress Engine. And obviously, I want to set it up like this site is on digital marketing checklist which is the domain that I purchased okay so basically there's a few steps and um, the first off you if you go into under the WordPress tag um, it's going to bring up the general settings and this information here is what you need to do on your domain registrar and my domain registrar is Namecheap so if I go over there um, I'll just show you the steps um, I've already done it, obviously, to, to set it up, so it's already done, but just to show you what I did. So you just click on the domain that you want to modify, um, and if you go to, on the left-hand side, there should be all host records, or something similar. If you go to your domain registrar, there'll be something similar. If you go to the frequently asked questions or support, they'll direct you to that. Um, basically you need to modify this information here so there's at and www and as you can see I've just taken the information that I've input here I've just taken it from from here which WordPress engine gives you so here it just says here the instructions your DNS should either be set to CNAME WordPress engine, and the A record to that number there which is exactly what I've done there so the at if you put it to the number the IP address and the www if you put it to that and it should be the same for most other domain registrars if you'll notice there that does have a full stop at the end of that which is important and you just change this from the options to address and this one to CNAME so that's the first step the next step is basically in the general settings so if you go into, the, into general settings I've already got the tab open here and you need to change WordPress address URL so when you first logged in to your WordPress engine this basically said your username dot WordPress engine dot com okay and you just basically change that out change that out press press save and then um, and that'll be done last but not least if you go into your user portal again through the WordPress dashboard if you click on the install and if you go to domains you'll see here that I've added a domain now this domain will already be there because that's username.wordpressengine.com all you do is add domain right in the domain you don't need to put anything in that one and then just press add domain um, obviously like I said before I've already done this so I can show you the result okay so basically when you first sign up it's just the WordPress engine URL that you've got but obviously you want it to be your uh, domain that you've registered okay um, and that's it basically this is just a, a site I've set up with Optimize Press but like I said I'm not going into that uh, so basically that's how easy it is to set up with WordPress engine I know there's a couple other options. I know Synthesis is a really good option. But when I was looking at the comparing the two, I decided that WordPress Engine was a little bit better for me. And now you know what you need to do. Anyway, I think it's a good option. And so if you want to sign up with WordPress Engine, just click the link below. And if you have any trouble setting up, they've got really good support. Another thing that not many people think about when you use WordPress Engine, if you're updating stuff on your WordPress dashboard uh, through a browser, now actually when you're in the dashboard, for example when you're, let's just go back to the dashboard. Okay, when you're updating pages and things like that, so if you if you go to add new page, and you're creating a new page, now basically every time you do that, it takes a couple of seconds. Now if you haven't got a very fast host, all that time adds up. So basically even making changes, it becomes annoying when you're waiting for the browser to constantly upload and update the pages. Now with WordPress Engine, what I've found is when I've been updating my content, when I've been adding you know, the optimized press stuff, I've actually been able to work faster as well. And so that was one thing that I didn't expect from WordPress Engine. That saved me a lot of time. 
Um, so anyway, I hope you found this helpful. And um, if you want to sign up with WordPress Engine, if you just use the link below. Thanks for watching.